What's up guys, Rob here. If you've been a part of the community for any amount of time now, you know that the Grey Mass EOS wallet is my favorite desktop wallet for EOS. Now I know some people swear by the simple EOS wallet, but for me the only reason I would use the simple EOS wallet is if I hadn't downloaded Grey Mass wallet yet. So in this video I'm just going to run through how to update your Grey Mass EOS voter wallet because the newest release, 0.5.1, has released the delegation feature which is an amazing feature that we will get into after I show you how to update your Grey Mass EOS wallet. So here I am signed in to my Grey Mass EOS voter wallet. Now I am already updated to the latest 0.5.1 but if you're not it's very simple and easy to do. So what you do is come up to the help section here click on help then scroll down to releases and this will take you to the gray mass release page for the EOS voter wallet click releases and at the top of the page here you see the latest release 0.5.1 what did this add in this added in delegations and bug fixes and then it leaves you with a list of links here to download the latest version of gray mass wallet you have different options here for Linux different options for Mac and then two options here for Windows now for me I'm on a Windows machine so if I wanted to update to this latest version I would simply click the Windows EOS voter 0.5.1 exe file click it and let it download and then once it downloads I would just click the exe file down here or go to your downloads folder and run the exe file but before you run the exe file make sure you are closed out of your EOS voter wallet so before clicking on clicking on this to run it I would just X out of my EOS voter wallet and then run the executable file now as a backup it's always good to have your private keys handy so just in case the latest update doesn't automatically import your accounts you can go through again and import your private keys to have your EOS wallet attached to your gray mass wallet but for me I've updated this every release now pretty much so a handful of times and every single time I update it my wallet is still intact with all my accounts in it so now you can see it's fully downloaded here I would just X out of my EOS voter wallet and then click on the link I just downloaded and that starts the EOS voter setup and then you just run through and select where you want to put it and then once you're done you'll have the latest release okay but I already have the latest release so I'm gonna cancel out of that and pull back up the EOS voter wallet here the big feature added like I said is delegations so where do you find that in the 0.5.1 release of the EOS voter gray mass wallet it is in the tools section here so you just click on tools and come down to delegations and this is a really nice feature where you can delegate CPU and bandwidth to different accounts from the account you have connected or one of the accounts you have connected to your gray mass EOS wallet here's the different delegations I have from this account this is the account I have attached right here to the gray mass EOS voter wallet from this wallet I am staking 10 CPU and one bandwidth to the actual account I'm using right now but I am also delegating 0.5 and 0.5 to EOS pay mobile I'm delegating 0.1 and 0.1 to send EOS to CML and I'm delegating 10 and 0.1 to send EOS to Rob so this is what we're going to use as, a, as an example here send EOS to Rob I have that account pulled up here on EOS flare let me give it a refresh here so let me actually pull this over to the side so we can see both okay so here is send EOS to Rob account and this is what I want you to take notice of here the amount staked I have is only two EOS so I am staking one in CPU and one in net but if you look at the amount of CPU stake I have and net stake I have it's 11 and 1.1 so the send EOS to Rob account is staking in itself two EOS. It's staking one EOS to CPU, one EOS to net. 
So where did the extra 10 come from here and the extra 0.1 come from here? Well, look at my delegation. Send EOS to Rob. I'm delegating 10 EOS to CPU. So that's the extra 10 EOS here in the CPU. And I am delegating 0.1 to bandwidth. That is the extra 0.1 here in the bandwidth. So it's not showing up in my staked balance, and that's because this account, send EOS to Rob, does not own those EOS. They're being delegated from this account, H-E-Z-D-S-M-Z. -E so when you delegate to a specific account, that's not transferring the assets, the EOS, over to that account. It's just letting them use however many EOS for CPU and however many EOS for bandwidth. So you're just giving them those resources to use. And at any time, I can update the stake. So let's update this stake here. So let's say I, I wanted to add another two EOS to the CPU. So I just went from 10 EOS to 12 EOS, delegated to send EOS to Rob, this account over here, update staked, confirm. Okay, transaction submitted. So we're gonna go from 11 to 13 here without changing the amount of staked because it's delegation. So give it a refresh. Now this account has 13 EOS staked in CPU. <clears throat> And the same thing can be done in the reverse. Uh, this hasn't updated here. Let me just refresh delegations because it's still saying 10. So there we go. Just clicked out, clicked back in. Now it's at 12 EOS. Now is if I want to remove some of those EOS from delegation, let's just pump this down to 11. So I'm going to go from 12 to 11. And that'll bring us from 13 here down to 12 EOS. Hit update staked. You're about to unstake one from CPU. Yes, it's going to take 72 hours for me to get that one EOS back, just like when you unstake anything with EOS. Okay, transaction submitted, close. So we're going to go from 13 to 12 here. And there we go. And we went from 12 to 11 here. So that's the newest feature on the gray mess wallet along with some bug fixes again you come over to the tools section go to delegations and here if i wanted to add a new delegation i simply click add and it shows you all your delegations and if you want to update your delegation stake in a different account just click the edit button and you update it the same way you update your own stake and if you want to totally remove the delegations you can hit the red the red button here you're about to unstake 0.1 in bandwidth 11 in cpu if i hit click confirm that'll take all the delegations out of this account and of course it takes three days to come back to your account just like unstaking in your own eos wallet so guys if you liked this video or found it useful please drop a like on the video it goes a long way to supporting the channel and if you're not subscribed already make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell but that's gonna do it for me if you got any questions leave them down in the comments below i'll see you guys in the next one and as always stay living that crypto money life